Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I'll show you a page I've made from this cleanup paper. There were some stenciling on top of that was modeling paste. All sorts of yummy yummy texture. So I give this a good layer of gesso because that's a very soft type of cardboard from packaging, you know. So this are, these are the main colors I use. Um, afterwards a few more but um, that will be the main color in the background and I like the combination of them both and I use mostly here the turquoise and um, I will uh, now later go over that with my baby wipe technique. First I will uh, go over with a brayer and gesso to get the texture out again and then I go and get my baby wipe and work a bit out of this dress look. That's what I really like. That was this page is simply for playing. I was in the mood of doing something not really special, only something I really enjoyed. And I did. So I used this stencil that was um, in the background uh, I cleaned the stencil on that the same stencil on that um, cardboard and um, that's where I positioned the, st uh, the stencil exactly again to put some paint on top a bit of paint in the middle so and this is the stencil from or the other stencil actually was from Marabou and this one is from Dina Whiteley and um, I wanted to get what the face out again. I wanted to um, dis uh, stress out this, this texture. Didn't like it, didn't work to me and then I started to use this um, cardboard stencil I have. Yeah, I put it on and I hated it. So went over it with gesso. As I said, I just, I'm just playing here and I had really fun to try stuff and so I go over with white gesso again, quite thickly, and after that dried I went over with first the green and then with yellows and oranges. And I got, because I thought that face I wanted to keep it, but in a different way. So and I thought that's perfect as the sun, isn't it? I think so. So, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. And um, that's what I did. Bit of yellow next to the sun. And uh, around this um, stenciled dandelions, whatever they are, I don't know, I go around with uh, oil pastel to have a bit of a darker area there. And a uh, very thin, long brush, I m make a hint of a stem. So on here on that side, I'll put a bit of that grey oil pastel, but I didn't like it. I thought I was finished and stamped, um, uh, stamped it and dated it and went, yeah, it went into my finished stuff, but I went back to it. I didn't like it. Or I liked it, but to me it wasn't finished. So I um, put some of the stencil on the left. It's uh, in the set with the right ones. So a bit of a, a few lines here and there, a bit of uh, splatters and a few highlights and that's it and I like it so much more now. It, it's much more balanced, isn't it? So that's a short shortcut. That's the close-up already. Um, thanks a lot for watching guys. You will see some pictures at the end. So thanks a lot and I will see you with my next project soon. So have fun guys. Bye-bye.